everyone, it's Tasha from Starring You. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a welcome email series using MailChimp. MailChimp is a fantastic email campaign provider, especially if you're just starting out because it's free. So you can't beat the price on that one. All right, so the way that you go about doing this is making sure that you create a list. Now I've already got some lists created just to save time, but to just show you what you would do, you would click on create list, and then you would go about inputting all of this information. So your list name, make sure that it's something that um, you wouldn't mind your audience seeing because they will see that. And it needs to be something that, you know, that they would be familiar with, okay? Um, your email address, your name, uh, reminding people how they signed up for your list. So basically you would just need to input all of this information. And again, I've already created a couple of lists for, um, in order to save time. So one of the ways that you would go about creating an email campaign series is, um, a welcome email series is by using something that MailChimp calls automations. And automations are basically nothing more than an autoresponder. So basically when someone comes to the opt-in form on your website, like you've got an amazing piece of content that they want, like a checklist or a cheat sheet, they input their email address and in order to receive that piece of content in exchange. Well, one of the best ways to get to know your audience is by sending them a welcome uh, email series, which is basically, you know, one or two emails, basically letting the people know who you are, what you represent, what you can offer to them, and how you can help them. Okay, so the way we go about doing that in MailChimp is by creating an automation. Now, just a heads up, guys, uh, MailChimp charges for this okay so zero to five hundred subscribers if and again that means if you have a list an email list of zero to five hundred subscribers it's you can do something that's called a pay-as-you-go plan and that would be ten dollars a month if you have five hundred and one to one thousand subscribers that would be fifteen dollars a month okay now if you don't send or if if you don't send a, t a ton of auto responders, you don't foresee yourself collecting a ton of emails on a, you know, on a frequent basis, then you could do something that's called the pay as you go plan. And so you could purchase like 300 credits uh, for $9. And basically every time someone subscribes to that particular opt-in form and that automation is triggered, your credits would just dwindle down to zero. So you're basically literally paying as you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start in automation. And again, I got a couple examples, you know, just a couple test examples. I was playing around with this. So what you do, you click on add automation. And so then you're presented with this screen. Okay, again, once you've made your purchase, you're presented with this screen and then you can kind of figure out, okay, there's quite a few different layouts that are geared towards e-commerce or retail um, and all the way down, okay? For our purpose, you could either use custom or you could use list activity. I'm just going to use the list activity just to kind of show you because they have uh, a couple automations already set up. So I'm going to click the welcome series, add automation, and then I'm going to name my automation. So. I like to get in the habit of naming my list basically something that I wouldn't mind my audience seeing. Again, you don't have to do that, but that's just a practice that I do. So again, this is just for test purposes. So I'm just going to call it um, uh, welcome series or, or welcome. Let's just leave it at welcome. Okay. And then whatever list we created, that's the one that we want to make sure that this automation is tied to. Okay, so when you create your list, that's the list, choose the list that you're, you want your automation, your welcome series to be tied to. Okay, so I'm just going to click next. Again, that's the name of the automation is right up here. And my workflow recipe, that's basically 
you know, this is going to be my uh, welcome series automation. So one of the things that we need to make sure, once that person receives that piece of content, I want to make sure that I, you know, they're already have my company at the top of their mind. So I want to make sure that I introduce myself right away. Or if you've got an email course, you want to make sure that, you know, if they signed up for your email course, you want to make sure that they receive that piece of email uh, content or email right away. So you would go ahead and click Edit Trigger. And you want to make sure that you set this for immediately. Okay, and, and immediately is because as soon as they subscribe, they want to receive their piece of content. And you don't have to click this, but I just do. Not a big deal. Update Trigger. Okay. And schedule, you want to leave this the same because you want people to constantly receive that particular email. You know, every day you want people to be, um, have the opportunity to receive this email because it's the first one that kicks off the welcome series, okay? Uh, segment, you don't need to worry about that right now because they're new to your list. But in the event that you wanted to send an auto, uh, an automation, you know, campaign for a particular product or service, um, for a particular season, you have the ability to actually just send it to a particular segment of your group. So you don't need to worry about these two right now, okay? So let's just jump into the design the email. Again, this is internal use, but I like to name my list, you know, something that just in case my audience sees it, like something happens, you know, something weird. Um, that I wouldn't be embarrassed about them seeing. And then you would go ahead, name your email subject. I'm just going to say, welcome uh, to starring you. And then you've got your name, your email address, and then we're going to click next. You have the ability to choose all sorts of layouts for your email, um, different themes, and once you start sending campaigns and whatnot, if there's a particular template that you really love, um, you have the ability to actually save that and then you can come back here and choose it from here. Uh, campaigns, basically any campaign emails that you've already sent, you would be able to see that right there. Um, and you can reuse that same template that you sent for your campaign. So let's go ahead and just choose something really simple for the purpose of our example here. So I'm just gonna choose a simple text layout, okay? Now just because it's a simple text layout doesn't mean that you can't get fancy with this. You have the ability to go back in, you can add an image, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, insert. Uh, you've got to make sure that you, um, obviously, make sure that you put your your content in here so I'm just gonna say it's time to launch but let's say I forgot to put to change the default content that MailChimp automatically has available you will be notified by MailChimp hey you did something wrong you gotta go back in and fix it so it'll actually tell you if, in the event that you forget to um, remove default content that's in your emails so I'm gonna put it's time to launch your business. Save and close. Make sure that I change the content here. Again, I'm not going to make this super long. Uh, let's get started. Okay. Again, just trying to make this really simple and quick. Uh, you don't really have to worry about this information down here. And let's say you did not, um, you wanted to add something to this, you have the ability to do that. Uh, your social follow buttons, you can go ahead and add that as well, which I highly recommend that you do. Um, then you just input your information in there. Now, I'm not going to add that, um, well, because it may prompt me at the end of this email, hey, you forgot to add in your information. Oh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and do that just in case it does prompt me. That way you can see the error message. So I'm going to go ahead and save and continue. Okay, and from here, guys, you go on to your next email. Now, I'm just going to delete one of these. I just want mine to be two, two days, okay? 
but you have the ability to add as many emails to this series that you want. I don't believe MailChimp has a uh, limit for how many emails you can have in an automation. So what this is saying is one day after the subscriber receives the previous email is when they can expect this, this their very next email. Now let's say you wanted to change that. I want them to receive it two or three days later. Then you would go ahead and do that. You know, let me send them another follow-up three days later. And then you can see that change right here. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to design my email. Uh, I've got to make sure that I change. Welcome to. Uh, welcome to. All that information is good, so I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to choose a really cool template again. Again, just keeping it simple for purposes of explaining this. I got to make sure I'm going to put in my little image here just so you want to make sure that you're consistent with whatever you do. I'm going to drop that in there. Um, I'm just going to say something like, ah, welcome back. Close and glad to see you again. Okay. Ah, and let's go ahead and put in those social uh, follow buttons. Hopefully, um, I won't get an error message, but if I do, that's because I did not fill in this information. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, save, and continue. Now, one thing I want to call attention to is when you do your next email, so after that very first email is sent, which should be set to immediately, the next day you have the ability to actually edit that schedule. So I was reading a survey, not a survey, I was reading some articles that had mentioned that Mondays um, are, you know, not Mondays, sorry about that, that um, like, 11 a.m. is like one of the best times to send your emails out. Again, there's so many different studies that are being done on this, but in the event that you wanted to send it out at a specific time, your second email, of course, okay, the first one should always be sent immediately, but that second one, you can kind of play around with the timing. So if you wanted to send that at a specific time, you have the ability to do that. So let's say I want to send the second email at 1 a.m. Not 1 a.m., sorry about that, 11 a.m. And Central Standard Time, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so, as you can see, that's when it's going to be sent. Okay, so I'm done. I want to go ahead and confirm my automation. And in the event that something was wrong, it would say resolve... Um, you know, you've got some issues with this particular list, it would let me know. If you're all set to go, you're going to see nothing but green check marks. If not, you're going to see a red, um, red circle with an X through it, and that'll let you know that you need to go back and fix something. So we're good to go. So I'm going to hit here, start the workflow. Okay, and this is just confirming what you've done, which is great. And it's going to let you know, you know, with the cool little sign there that you're good to go. Okay. This is how you set up your welcome email series using MailChimp. So thank you so much. And let me know if you've got any questions in the comment section. Thanks so much, guys.